Hello everybody, Chris here. And in this video, I wanna talk about Adobe Premiere Pro's new best feature, which is audio noise reduction, or it's actually called adaptive noise reduction within the program. So what this effectively allows you to do is noise reduction on any clip uh, without really playing too much around with the settings. So it's mostly automatic. You can tweak it a little bit, uh, but it's, it's about as easy as using the uh, noise reduction feature inside of Audacity. So that's why we're comparing it to that today. Um, in order to actually add it in in Adobe Premiere Pro, all you really need to do is to go to the Effects tab, find the clip you want to apply it to, which in my case what I do is I apply it to the whole thing before I even start editing, and then when you make cuts, each cut will also have that same effect on it. And uh, yeah, then you can just basically start playing and editing. It removes basically most of it by default. And sometimes you can go in and bump the noisiness up a little bit. And I think that helps. And let's just do a quick comparison of how it sounds without that. So you can see that there's a lot more white background noise. So it definitely does help. Um, but the main issue with using Audacity for that, although I was previously using Audacity and I still like Audacity as a program, when you have to import uh, files into Audacity to edit them, it becomes a pain. So let me show you what I mean. We have this unedited clip right here. Let's just assume it was a finished uh, a clip ready for export. So we're gonna export the audio to the desktop. So let's see, export there, and then you have to bring it in to Audacity, which means dragging and dropping. Uh, let me delete those. Okay, and then you need to find a spot within the, uh, within the audio clip that has background noise. As you can see, it definitely does there. So noise reduction, get noise profile, and then we can apply it to the whole clip. And this will basically selectively take the really quiet areas and filter them out. As you can hear, uh, the uh, the noise levels for those parts that aren't supposed to have noise went from negative 45 to negative 57. Could have went further than that, but that basically uh, removes the background noise there for all intents and purposes. And then you would need to export the audio to the desktop. And finally, import it back into Adobe Premiere for every video that you're going to do. So why this is so great is not because noise reduction is some um, incredibly new thing that's never been done in any program ever, but because it's so easy to add into our clips. So you can just effectively drag it in, listen back, and if there's still too much noise, you can just bump up the noisiness, or play a little bit with the settings, hit OK, and then export your final video. So hopefully you get what I'm trying to illustrate here is that having noise reduction inside of Premiere Pro is really useful because it speeds up the audio editing time by a lot. And that's going to be really useful for anybody who doesn't have a specific recording room that isolates all sounds outside of the room uh, before you basically talk into your microphone. But being able to reduce the noise in editing is the next best thing. So I find this to be a really cool feature, personally. So being able to reduce the noise in editing is kind of the next best thing. So I'm really keen on this new feature. Hopefully you enjoyed this video showing off adaptive noise reduction inside of Premiere Pro. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future content.